What the hell going on right here, man? New video at 11. A crazy encounter on I-85. A man caught on camera hitching a ride on an 18-wheeler. The shirtless thrill seeker seen clutching the side view mirror with one hand and a smoke in the other. CBS 46's Alan Devlin talked to drivers who saw it happen and he joins us live. Alan. Absolutely. That guy on the side of that semi truck, one just like this one going down 85. I'll tell you, he took a seat right on the side, had one hand up on the mirror, good, confident hand grip. And even me doing this right now, it's difficult. Yet he was doing it as this 18 wheeler was going down the highway. Take a look. Y'all tell me what's going on right here, man. It's not what you normally see going down 85 South. What the hell going on right here, man? A shirtless man in a do-rag, smoking something, confidently gripping the outside of a semi-truck as it rolls down the highway. What is going on right here, man? But his joyride didn't stop there. Another video, this time taken in Gwinnett, shows what appears to be the same man on a different truck. The witness who shot the video told CBS 46, I just shook my head. The things I see go on in Atlanta does not surprise me. But the crazy weekend antics continued. And somebody on the back of that bus. I was like, what is that? Something on that bus does not belong. <laughs> a video shot in Bankhead the same day shows another man straddling the back of a MARTA bus headed down Lindsay Street. It looked like he was just having a free ride or something. I don't know what was going on, but he rode for a good distance. MARTA released a statement in response to a CBS 46 inquiry about the incident, saying in part, MARTA discourages this type of behavior because not only is it extremely dangerous, it's illegal. MARTA police detectives will review any available footage to see if they can identify the person and possibly file charges. I've never seen anything like this. This is crazy. I was like, only in Atlanta. You would see something like this going on. Now, of course, police right now are looking into exactly how this happened, who did it and why. Once they are able to put together a little bit more information, they say they're looking to press charges. For now, we're live in Atlanta. Alan Devlin, CBS 46 News. Wow. Thank you, Alan. Right